Hello everybody, Nighthawk here with part 2 of Resident Evil 4. Um, this part's going to start off a cutscene, so I'm going to be quiet here. For just a little bit. Feeble humans. Let us give you our power. Wake up. Ay, ay, ay. Crawl out of one hole and into another. You want to tell me what's going on here? Americano, see? Now, what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world? Oh, hey, easy, whoever you are. Name's Leon. Came here looking for this girl. Seen her? What, are you supposed to be a cop or something? Nah, you don't look the type. Maybe. Okay, let me guess. She's the president's daughter? <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Wanna start explaining? Psychic powers. Nah, <laughs> just kidding with you, amigo. I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But now I'm just a good-for-nothing guy who happens to be quite a ladies' man. Why'd you quit? Phew, <laughs> policia. You put your life on the line. Nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in the lab at the department. Hey boy, I'm not bad. <laughs> Do something, cop! After you. Oh, quick time event. <laughs> Out of nowhere, quick time. I almost fucked it up too because I hit the wrong button. Oh, here he comes again. And Lewis runs out like Pansy. Of course, I don't can call us right when that's over with. It's or we, we call. Sorry, I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was a bit tied up. You're okay, right? I'm fine. There was a male civilian held captive. According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. What happened to him? He managed to escape. Do you have a fix on the location of that church? No, but apparently there's a secret passage in the village that leads there. I'm heading back to the village. I'm not only one of the things that Leon looks like. He looks really pale sometimes in this game. Like, really pale. Over here. Okay. Well, that was a merchant. Um, basically, he's some mysterious dude that pops in out of nowhere to sell us weapons. Um, if I can, like, figure out what button I need to hit here. There we go. Okay, what? Okay, my control scheme has got mixed up all of a sudden. Hang on a minute. There we go. But with the merchant, um, you go sell, buy, and upgrade weapons from, like, he really just, he's really mysterious in a way that he just pops in out of nowhere. Um, I mean, he's got these really little, yeah, catchphrases like that where he just, like, says, like, stuff like that. 
But the thing that's popping up here, like the little blue medallions that we shot in the last area in that little farm area. If, you know, he says here, if we shoot, you know, 10, we get a specialized gun. If we shoot, like, all 15 of them, which there's 15 of them, um, we get that gun with a free upgrade. So, I'm going to buy some shit here. Oh, we're going to buy this attache case here. And we're also going to buy this TMP as well. See, um, we could buy a rifle, but I'm not going to buy it yet. Um, actually, you know, I, I take that back. I'll, I'll buy the rifle. I was thinking about some areas later in the game where I can really use it, and there are some areas in the game I can really use it. Um, another thing about the version is, say, like, if your, like, magazine of your current weapon is empty, I said every loan despite a capacity upgrade off the merchant. And not only we get the capacity upgrade, you also get, like, you know, those bullets for absolutely nothing. Uh, my shotgun was empty, I bought the capacity upgrade, and now I have eight free bullets, you know, and my shotgun now. And yeah, I got none for it. So, like, it's, it's useful for, it's really useful for magnums, because, you know, it's real hard to get, you know, ammo for magnums. Uh, and here comes our little sniping area here. Um, let's see, here we go. Zoom up on this guy, away from the common scope, and boom. The headshots in this game are like I love the headshots in these games because their heads they blow they blow up like watermelons and now they've been alerted. This guy's like like why would you walk so damn slow to the guy with a rifle just popping heads off left and right. Um, let's see what does get this guy now. There's gonna be a guy coming up from us here pretty shortly. Hopefully, there we go. Call of Duty quick scope or dare boy. Got another guy up here. Can I get him with a headshot? E yes. Okay, that took a pretty good majority of them out. I'm um, going to switch over to the pistol. Reload that. We got plenty of ammunition for the pistol right now. And here's going to be our first close encounter here. Um, little some tidbits about this video, some of my facts. Um, this is my third time trying to do this, um, this little section here. Man, like getting fucking knives or axe. Uh, first part went bad <laughs> because of animals in my house, and the second part went bad because I acted like an animal and did something really dumb. But, um, so the thing is when you shoot these guys, like you shoot them in the knees or in the head and stuff like that, I might have brought this up in like a in the previous video, I'm not too sure. Uh, it'll give you the option to like, you know, kick them and shit. Got back up in the stomach because they all, you know, they just blew each other up there. The AI, they are really, really dumb when it comes to dynamite. They blow themselves up constantly. Um, I've seen one of them, like, I think it was in the Resident Evil 5 Let's Play. I did with just my friend Jimmy. Where one of them literally just threw the dynamite like a couple feet from him, he blew himself up. Like it was really, really dumb. Uh, also, another little thing when you go into animation to kick these guys. Oh shit, he came right behind me. Um, you kind of come invincible for a second. So you can, like, what you could do. If you stagger someone in the middle of our group, you can straight up just run right up to that person and kick them, even while like the enemies are kind of doing their little attack animation, and they can't hit you. So I see a shotgun here. So there, there's these little things you can do on this game that you can kind of cheat it a little bit. Of course, it was just being shotgun the range on it is absolutely junk. I'm going to jump out because these are some bunch of them to pop up right behind us here. I know you can shoot the dynamite out in midair as well, which is really useful for taking out groups of enemies. Like you can take out a large group of people in this game really easily with a very limited amount of ammo, just if you know how to use your the environment to your advantage and know where to shoot at. Can I kick him? No. Can I kick him now? Yeah, I can. Okay. 
And when I go down the ground, there's just one dude, just, just knife him like that. But yeah, if you got like a guy like in the middle of a big group of people, you know, and he's got dynamite, just, you know, wait for him to throw it, or if you're getting a shot, just shoot the dynamite right out of his hand, you'll just blow up the whole damn group. Now, you might be curious why I picked up that little emblem here. Um, the way out of here is locked. We can't leave. So what we need to do, we need to pick up these two emblems, combine them, and I'll make a key to get us out of here, you know, because it's got to be resting. we got these really weird-ass puzzles in the middle of the game. The second one is right here. I mean, they don't, <laughs> they don't really do that good of a job of hiding them, do they? Is, is there a group coming up behind me? Yeah, here comes our group. Away from C. There's this explosive barrel, because every single video game has got had these things. And of course he's dead. Like these guys, they don't they don't handle explosions that well at all. And of course they do kind of like do weird things. Like yeah, see where how I was in the animation if that guy wasn't able to hit me. But like the thing is where you can't move and shoot, like like the enemies they won't really flank you that much, they won't really run at you. But it's quite weird, like since you got a pretty narrow field of view in front of you, it's really easy for them to kinda of flank you. And that guy is straight up is dumb. You got the guy from Stanford Sons here trying to uh, take us out here. Kinda curious what part of Spain this is. Because this isn't Spain, all speaking Spanish has to be Spain. Oh! Damn, that, that's one thing I love about. Oh shit, where'd he come from? And there's an error. <laughs> that's another thing, you can straight up just kick their heads off like that. Like, it's amazing, like, how, like, they'll take a couple headshots, they'll be fine all of a sudden, and the things just explode like a watermelon. But the headshots on this game are so great because of that. Where you can just shoot him right in the head and this pop, pops like a watermelon. And we also can kick these doors open on them like that. Ooh, that was... Oh, crap. Ah, shit. Uh, I do got some dynamite... Uh, not dynamite, hand grenade. Damn, these guys have been throwing so much dynamite at me. I don't even know what the hell is going on while I'm using. Any, like hand grenades are just so they're really useful for these guys because like explosions go from like nothing if I can hit this dude he's down on the ground going to give him a couple of knives here yeah is he dead yet yeah he, should, yeah, he is and another thing about this game if you're in an area where there's you know, a lot of shooting going on um, you can tell when the combat is over because the music will stop And now we're in the next area. Um, this chapter only has like little three little areas, and this is the second part. The first part there back there, you know, that little cliff, uh, cliff section, canyon section, I guess you can call it, is definitely the longest one. Now again, this looks like a little, kind of like a little. Not really sure how to describe this little building here. It looks like a little refinery, but I'm not really sure what exactly you could call it. Pick him some more rifle ammo. Of course, it's quiet, and now it's not quiet. I got a straight up man, you know, bum rush at us. Um, see, we got that TMP here. We're going to use it here. And this is like, I believe this is the only outside of an unlockable weapon. This is the only fully automatic weapon in the game. Ah, shit, these guys are getting kind of close. And a centering grenade. Um, centering grenade, basically, if any of them, it was like, it's pretty much almost like a napalm grenade. If any of them walks even close to, you know, the grenade itself, they'll catch on fire. Um, almost all these weaker enemies, they'll just kill them right there on the spot.
I, was like, I, I just find it funny, though, like, they got all these little things going on, so you just straight up jump for the fucking window here. Oh, and dynamite and blow it out midair, and I think they're all dead. Some randomly placed bear traps, like, I have no idea why. Like, they got all this, you know, ammo and shit laying around, but they don't use it. It's like, it's so crazy, it's like, they, they they hoard all these ammo and grenades and jewels, like, there's the jewels, there's jewels inside of the damn fire, like, why? It's so crazy, it's just random like that. I hit that guy at the door, and, you know, he's staying up like it didn't do anything to him. And I kicked the shit out of him. I'm gonna hurt dude here. Can I get a headshot on him? Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get close enough to him to do the animation. Oh, now there we go. Now I can kick him. There we go. But it's like they got all these like we got barrel here, you know, opening it up, and of course there's you know there's you know there's plants inside of it. Like, why do you do that? <laughs> yeah, I know I should not be questioning like how the way Resident Evil works and shit, but it's like. Like that, like, okay, we got a little stage mask, we're just put off here for no reason at all. Like, there's no rhyme or reason in this game whatsoever. You can tell, like, now, like, video games today, outside of, like, games like Borderlands, they take themselves so damn serious, and this one's kind of, like, it's serious, but it's kind of the zany at the same time, and I love it. Like, it makes no sense, but I just, this, this is awesome in the same way. It's being just zany crazy. Um, let's go fishing, and we're going to fish by using, um, well, I guess we'll just use our handgun here and just shoot it. There we go. We caught ourselves a big old bass fish. Let's see, we're going to put her, and we're going to put this in. <laughs> it looks so damn stupid. Uh, hang on a minute, I got to do some uh, item management here. It's like so crazy, you know, like just straight up caught a bass fish because we just shot the damn thing. Hang on, uh, put this thing over here, and there we go. Wait, no. There we go. All right. Took me a while to figure that out. You can also shoot the, oh, some of the other fish as well, but I don't think we have the room for it. Can I shoot that one? No. 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 Yeah, I really should not be shooting fish. I have a, a damn aquarium. I love my fish. But this is a video game, so I don't care. So I'll just straight up, you know, just murder them. We don't want to merge them anytime soon, so I was going to reload now. Um, let's see. Do we got a flash grenade? Yes. Okay. Um, some little things here about the flash grenade. Um, flash grenade um, instantly kills birds. I have no clue why, but it does. <laughs> I I I couldn't really tell you, but like I guess the sun flash just kills birds for some reason. And like again, it's one of those things in this game that make no sense. Make no damn sense. You know, I guess I could have, you know, shot the dynamite there and kill the birds that way, but I think a bit of them, you know, it was funnier to shoot them with, you know. We'll kill him with a damn hand grenade. Um, we have a puzzle up here, right here, and it's the world's laziest puzzle. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Or maybe I don't know how to do this. Okay. There we go. Open up this door. And this is pretty much the end of the chapter, really. Just gotta go for this room, and after this room, there'll be a cutscene. Pick up some more ammo just lying around. Maybe, I'm starting to think why this the merchant has a bunch of surplus shit that he has. And he is just, just skewing it around everywhere. Chief's note, uh, he's kind of curious about keeping us alive. Do, 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 do. Again, if you want to read the little text files here, just pause the video and look at them. Gets this big wardrobe here, and the only thing he got is like a thousand PS at the very bottom of it. And time for a cutscene. Master of 
the same blood as us, it seems. Nevertheless, you're an outsider. Just remember, if you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. What? Same blood. Yeah, you'll find out here pretty soon, Leon. Well, that's the end of chapter one, too. Um... Much shorter than the last video. The last video took fucking forever. Um, but yeah, um, next video, um, I'm trying to believe the next video, chapter one, three, um, we do get to the church, and there's also a boss fight right at the very end of the video as well. So, um, this is Nighthawk. I'll catch you all next time.